Welcome back. We continue right here. Bob Pompiani with you till 11 o'clock. We have two sizzling shots tonight. This is the Rooster Sizzling Shots. You go to that six PPG place, restaurant downtown, sizzling steaks. How about Perry Graziano of Edgewood Country Club, hole number five, a hybrid 176 yards. Perry put it right in the hole. Congrats. And then Tom Meehan of Nevillewood. Hole number eight, which has been a popular site of hole in ones this year, uh, 114 yards and a pitching wedge right into the hole. So, congrats to both Perry and Tom. That's a high five from Roos Chris Steakhouse, 6 PPG Place, downtown, home of the Sizzling Steak. Right now, let's get out to the Sizzling phone lines. Jeremy in Heidelberg. Hey, Jeremy, how you doing? Hey, Bob. How's it going, man? Good. Thanks for calling. Yeah, I just, um, well, I wanted to add something about Marte. I was calling about the Steeler head roll, but. Do you think that they could get like uh, load up their bullpen and get a solid, you know, closer for Marte? I mean, could they possibly? They do don't. They already like have that? that though. They already have him. They have Kella and they have Vasquez. They don't need that. Their bullpen oh, is okay. in pretty good shape from innings six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's a strength. I think they need yeah. bats, more bats. But you know, I don't know what you could get from Marte right now. Um, mm -hmm. He is signed. Uh, he comes at a friendly price to a franchise that helps. But I don't. Yeah, know. Right. Uh Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, the Steeler head roll, I think that's way too much, man. That's going too far. And then you look at the NHL, and they just don't even worry about it. You know, it's kind of crazy. I just I don't understand. The what's NFL going is. On. I'll hang it, up. Okay, thanks, Tom. It's all litigation. They've had so many lawsuits because of CTE issues. They're trying to do their best to make safety hopefully a non issue, but it's a violent sport. You'll never take it completely out. But we've seen some calls already that have been just wrong calls. There was a uh, sack in the um, Jacksonville game against Minnesota last week, and it was a, just a routine, beautiful play by a defensive player to get a sack, and they called him for um, too excessive in the tackling department, which that's another you know, point of emphasis. So I think the NFL is going a little bit too far. Let's go to Jeff in Latrobe. Hey, Jeff, how are you real quick? Hey, Bob. Hey, yeah, I want to uh, make a comment about uh, Boswell. They're getting that long-term contract. Bob, mm -hmm. he's been in the business a long time, 35 years or so. And, you know, those contracts with kickers aren't worth the paper that they're written on. You know, famous freedom for these kickers. They shank a couple to the left or the right or come out of the goalpost. Oh, yeah, we've seen years. it. Well, you know, Bob, just back on the used car lot or selling life insurance that are bar buddies, you know. Hey, I mean, you remember uh, there are so many guys who come in here uh, and done that. Guys who are supposed to be good kickers, they lose their job very quickly. But he gets enough guaranteed that he's happy with that deal. We'll take a break. Come back right after this.